both to me, they both act like cancers. Ooh, is that a burp? Hold on. Let's get the towel. Let's get the towel, girl. Oh, thank you for the five dollars. I don't know who's gonna get it, but thank you for that. Let me see what you said. I'll read your comment. Oh, I know that nasty little cough. That nasty little cough, baby. My baby got a nasty little cough. Um, you said that your mom was on drugs and your grandma raised you until your teen. Let me see. I'm raising those babies without you. Oh, okay. Your kids have mommy issues. No, my kids don't have mommy issues, you guys. Look, I know you guys say certain things and you think it's going to hurt my feelings. It doesn't hurt my feelings because you guys are not here with me and my kids. My kids are so attached to me and I will make sure with all of me that my kids have no type of mother issues at all because they know they're not with me right now, not because I don't want them to be with me. They're not with me because of this bitter, horrible situation that we're all in right now, unfortunately. So it's not true. And I said that- Girl, they're not with you because you wanted to snort cocaine and smoke dick. What the hell is you talking about? That's why they're not with you. My mom was on drugs and I was raised by my girl. <laughs> what? Wrong person. <laughs> I'm just joking. Um, mm -mm. Can you pull the footage? I never said that a day in my life. I would never say my mother was on drugs because uh, my mom has never been on drugs. Um, so what did you say? Drink, okay. <laughs> She'll have a, when she has a cocktail, honey, oh my gosh. Okay. She shows, she shows out because my mom never. I was about to say, don't say your mom doesn't drink because your mom was drinking at your apartment in Florida with Raquel there. Um, yeah, and she was showing out. But Olivia, okay, so if you didn't tell us that your mom was on drugs and in the streets a little bit and that she was being raised by Mima for that amount of time, what did you tell us? What did you tell us? Why was the picture taken in the goddamn Breaking Bad trailer in the crack bathroom? Drinks. Um... So I'm sorry. It's just more lies. But like I said, thank you for contributing to the channel. I don't know where that money's going, but thanks. Thank you. If you have any more questions, just let me know. Yeah, because that's not true. <laughs> the person must have sent a super chat. She said, thank you for contributing to the channel. I don't know where the money's going, but thanks. And then she just told us that her mama wasn't on drugs. And completely followed it up with a lie. So what are we supposed to believe? <laughs> um, Hell no. Anyway, back to what I was saying. I'm just really happy. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Any more questions or anything else you want to say? I think I blocked you. Is that why you're super chatting everything? <laughs> Oh, even if you blocked them, they wouldn't be able to super chat. I think they blocked you. Is that why you're super chatting everything? They blocked. So it's not going to pop up, period. But you're demonetized. So they can't super chat anything. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Can y'all super chat me right Just put that shit in her mom's name. Olivia's Google AdSense check goes to Stella. So it can't be taken for child support. And she can get all the food stamps she wants. Okay. Damn, Peppa. And I don't know how they can catch you up on that. Other than Stella probably received Social Security. So that income going in her name is going to be a red flag. But <laughs> child, that's what she did. She put everything in her mom's name trying to get out of child support. Talking about the channel is demonetized. You a lying ass heifer. Oh, baby. That person probably has mommy issues. I don't know why. <laughs> That's another thing. With my whole situation, I don't know why people constantly want to shove that lady that my ex is with down my throat. Like, I don't have to accept her. I don't have to like her. I don't have to. 
I've never even had a conversation with her. That's how disrespectful. You know what? You don't have to like her, but you do need to respect the woman that wakes your children up every morning. But it's just a bitter baby mama in you that refuses to. You get it? You don't have to like her, but you do need to respect the woman that's wiping the eye boogers out of your children's eyes every morning. The same as if Gerard had to come to your house and pick the kids up. You wouldn't expect him to pop up and cause drama at your house every morning. You would expect him to behave himself, get the kids, leave your man alone, and go on about his business. But you don't understand this, right? You, you don't understand it. Okay. Well, that person is. Um, but I don't, I don't want to talk about her because I don't, I don't know the person and that's none, I don't care to know that person. It's just about my kids and I, you know, and sometimes their dad, cause he's a part of them, but that woman is not a part of anybody. She's just with my ex, but you guys constantly want to shove her down my throat. Like, where did they do that at? If the roles were reversed and I was constantly trying to shove a man down my ex's throat like this is their dad now like you guys sound bitter you guys sound just as bitter as him so knock it and off and she fed that baby that whole bottle and now she's busy talking about gerard and nisha and can't even burp the baby that's why the baby threw up 30 minutes ago Soon as she tried to start the live, the baby started tripping. She went and got the baby and said, oh, oh, baby food stamps. You threw up on me. Look at you. You just threw up on me. Oh, my gosh. The fuck? She threw up because you just fed her and let her sleep and you didn't burp her at all. Now you got her up. 30 minutes later, you fed her in a whole fucking bottle again. And you busy talking about your bride and Nisha worried about their sex life. Oh, dang. Because that's all you worried about. You miss him licking your booty cheeks. Poor thing. You was really bragging about that. And now look at you. Over there missing it and salty and dried up and lonely. Poor, poor thing. Go find your new baby daddy. <laughs> Zola don't want nothing to do with you. So you got the third baby daddy to think about. Go find him. She said, I got such a crush on my baby daddy, bitch. What, what the hell? Y'all out here saying y'all got crushes on y'all husbands and baby daddies and boyfriends and shit. I got such a crush on my man. Bitch, no. I don't know what type of little fairy tale you're living in, Olivia, with them pink curtains and the, the, the goddamn butterfly wings and shit. Girl, what the fuck? I couldn't even imagine. No man wants to even spend the night up in here. Just being real with you. You couldn't entice a nigga to stay the entire night. You really could not. You have no grown woman effect going on over there. It's all little bitty bitty bitch. What the fuck? You ain't got girl guy. You ain't even got nothing to entice a goddamn bum. Don't nobody want to be over there up under your pink curtains? From Walmart and pink mainstay curtains at that. Those would go in baby girl room, y'all. Fuck out of here. Mm -mm. Fourteen dollars. Okay, I don't care. My kids know who well, their mama care. is. I'm sorry, the internet doesn't know, but poor thing. You care? No, you know. That's why you're talking about it. Mm -mm. She ain't talking about you. Poor thing. Gerard and Nisha could literally come on YouTube and run up the complete bag. They could run the bag up on TikTok talking about her. And they don't. And they don't. And she says she's not bothered. Bro, bye. Sorry, ass person to pay just to say something mean. That's what I'm saying. Can you imagine? It's like people have real mental issues. Um, and that's so immature. Like, I get it. You guys like my ex's girlfriend. Awesome. You guys want a cookie? You guys would like her if she was a bum on the street. You guys would say she... We don't want a cookie, but your baby clearly trying to get that bottle. <laughs> oh 
Hell no. Nah, that's the only thing she didn't focus on all week. She is trying to get the freaking bottle over here, y'all. This is out of control. And Olivia still just don't want to talk about nothing but Gerard and Nisha. Boy, I couldn't. I just... I could not just be stuck on him still this fucking bitter after two years. Clearly two fucking years, bitch. Have it been 12 months since the divorce has been completely finalized? Because she really is still stuck on Gerard. And I get they got three kids together, bitch. But you have had two more children by two other men since. So, girl, they ain't no soul ties there. That shit's done. The fuck wrong with you? Let it go. She was a better person than me. Like, it doesn't matter. My haters just hate me so much that they would put a literal Girl. molester, yeah. racist, crazy, uh, homeless, any type of person they would say is a better person than me. It doesn't even matter. A person in jail right now for robbing a bank and killing people, they'd be like, well, they're better than you and they're prettier than you. <laughs> and that's cool. <laughs> I understand. I mean, the fact that you put molesters and, and jail robbers and everything else in the same category with yourself says all it need to say to us for real, for real, sis. I don't even know who the fuck will put that shit in the same category. Like, who would just really say that? Oh, they would say molesters and drug dealers and people in jail and what? Molesters? Bitch, where your mind at? Oh, hell no. Nah. That's why you ain't got custody of them three kids now. And I don't understand because I've never been a hater, but like, I get it. Like, I, I get it. It's <laughs> okay. Hater. I'm not mad. It's okay. You guys can like her, okay? <laughs> but leave me alone. Shit. Another thing that somebody kept saying, and you guys and my haters always say this, they're like, your kids are over there with a black woman. And I know that you guys are so disgusting. Like, why would anybody even say that? Like, what is wrong with this world? Peppa, you just said it yourself. <laughs> You said you're not bothered and the people don't bother you at all. And that is what you decided to repeat out of every fucking thing. Out of everything. People calling Nisha they 